Joe and Jackson, how do you feel about this storyline, first of all? I think it's great. I think it's fun. Uh, Camilla's a lot of fun to work with. We, uh, you know, there is a lightness, a comedic kind of tightrope that they're walking because we're keeping it light, but yeah. you feel like this could go badly at any moment. You know, that people very often declare, oh, I wanna, it's just gonna be, in this case, it'll just be sex. It'll just be this. Don't That's worry, right. the rest is covered. <laughs> and it's not, and they could, they could mean it at the time. But we're emotional beings, whether we wear it outside or inside. So I think it's, it's tricky and that makes it fun to play because sure. there is something at stake and they're both a bit of a mess. They both have had failure <laughs> in their romantic lives <laughs> and, and rejection, I think, and insecurity yeah. that comes with that. And that's real. Everybody can't, isn't this gallant, overconfident person, no matter how you, what you think about how they look or their success, we're all insecure. Mm. Um, so that's an interesting thing to play. What is the best case scenario for them? Do you think it could potentially turn serious? Could one of them get their heart broken yet again through this? Yeah, I think they could, they could, uh, one or both could get their heart broken. I think there's total potential there. I think they, in some ways, it's funny, actually, I hadn't thought about it, but in some ways, they are each other's pep talk. I like you exactly the way you are, and and that's good enough for me. Uh, and, and sometimes that that doesn't, have, that doesn't necessarily have to be revolutionary in our life, but it just gives us something solid that we can touch and feel, we know it's there, and we can go on about our day. And that's a lot different than having, you know, everything be slippery. It's like a healing thing, almost. I, I think it's part of it. It is connected to healing. We saw baby Harriet, I think, for the first time, slightly <laughs> grown up. And she, I'm telling you, is the most beautiful child on this planet. Are we going to see more baby Harriet? <laughs> I think we will. I think we will. We got some damn cute kids on the show uh, when we do get to see them. Um, and yeah, I hope so. I hope so, because being a, being a father, being a, um, a co-parent is a really important part of, of Jackson's DNA, both his uh, joy and his struggles. And being uh, exposed as a, as, a, as a surgeon, it makes it really hard for him to be present with his kid medically, right? So, mm -hmm. so that, um, that creates a lot of frustration and tension that you might take out elsewhere. But you know, as a father myself, these are really, and that's, it's not always easy. You don't always feel like you know exactly what you're doing. Um, and, and that's an important part of storytelling, I think. We talk about Harriet. Fans, including myself, still to this day love Jabril. I love Sarah Drew. Is there a world or is there more story to tell with Jabril in your opinion? Yeah, I mean, I the answer can't be no. Uh, there's, there's, they're incredible um, together. They're, you know, I'm, I'm a fan too. She is uh, absolutely one of the most special people I, I've worked with and we spent, we, we developed those storylines together with our incredible writers. So it, it'll always hold a, you know, a very real place in my heart and memories. And um, and we stay in contact. You know, she's the she's the sweetest. So uh, I would love any opportunity for us to continue that story because, he, yeah, they are, they have it, they have it in droves. They have an ability to communicate and be vulnerable with each other and and push each other. So even if it has to just live live in our mind or in some fan fiction, it's. Uh, I get it. I understand it. And that's not always the case. I don't think it's out of the question, though, because you guys have brought back Patrick Dempsey. You guys brought back T.R. Knight. These are strong arguments. Let me get my pencil here. That's yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> Let the writers know we need a J-Pearl yeah. reunion, even if it's just one episode. We'll take you make it. a good case. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's remember we had this conversation. <laughs> Is there a more shocking scene coming up than Patrick Dempsey's return? I would think so. Wow. You know, it's all it's all relative for who you what, who you're invested in, but I yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. I think it's Sandra O. <laughs> Fingers crossed. This new Old Spice video, it was hilarious. You're gonna stop taking your shirt off on TV, big fella. Not for a while. I mean, we all gotta work, but you do say in the ad you're gonna stop taking your shirt off on TV. <laughs> yeah. Was that more of a joke or do you actually think about that sometimes uh, both it was it was it was an acknowledgement that that's been a part you know i'm on a show where that's part of the bread and butter of it or it was early on yeah I, i've always encouraging grace to recruit younger guys so they can take over that mantle <laughs> i can move on um so it was it was taking a shot at that 
but you know, and some of the alternative takes we did, I joked about, it's about story and what makes sense for the story. You know, it's, it's not like fri frivolous and makes no sense. You know, you take it off your shirt to wipe something up when there's a napkin available. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but um, but yeah, having having some fun with the, you know the reality of things that that we uh, that we situations we find ourselves in to uh, to uh, get the job done. <laughs>